Right. Shiv, you've been talking to your, your sources in the Indian Air Force. How are they looking at it? Because the Kaveri engine and, and the dreams that were associated with it, uh, they haven't taken off uh, the G404 engine, yes, for LCA, but for LCA Mark II and for AMCA and for the Ghatak UCAVs. Uh, Gaurav, there's no doubt that this is a very, very significant deal. Uh, uh, you know, I remember reporting about the GE uh, F414 engine being chosen uh, by the Indian um, uh, Air Force back in 2011, 2012, if I'm not mistaken. So that gives you a sense of how long, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the wheels of defense procurement have actually taken for this deal to finally come through. Now, the F414 is a... Is a, a you know is a is a very well regarded jet engine for fighter aircraft. It's the it's the engine that powers the F-18 Super Hornet, which is a fighter that has been in contention uh, you know for Indian deals for many many years. Uh, it's it's also an engine that will now go on to power the Indian LCA Tejas, the Mark II variant, uh, also the futuristic fifth generation concept aircraft of India called the AMCA, uh, and then probably even unmanned uh, aircraft that India has currently in development. Uh, I I somehow. You know, this is going to be a big deal because the F-414 is going to be made here in India okay. uh, under license, Gaurav. And, uh, you know, India's uh, uh, lack of uh, an indigenous uh, jet engine uh, is something that gives me some mixed feelings because this may be a very big deal. There are going to be many, uh, you know, spillover benefits for industry. Uh, India finally gets to realize many aviation dreams that have been slow, uh, you know, owing to the lack of an engine. Uh, but my mixed feelings stem from the fact that it comes as a sort of bitter reminder of the fact that India's very own quest yes. for a jet engine, uh, you know, called the Project Kaveri, uh, you know, has not borne any fruit. The Kaveri has meandered aimlessly for decades together without producing, uh, you know, an engine of optimal performance for the Indian military. It's been rejected over and over again uh, because it simply hasn't met the kind yes. of... Uh, uh, requirements the Indian military had uh, and therefore we were forced to look abroad for it uh, you know money going into another economy uh, you know for our military needs uh, you know is the oldest story in the book as far Absolutely. as Indian defense procurement is concerned but all those things aside it's still a very big deal the engines will it's be a made big here. Deal, there saying. will be lots of jobs there'll be a lot of employ uh, employment generation it gives India's military planners and designers an engine around which to design more future aircraft uh, and it also has many other yeah. spillover oh, benefits. Absolutely. So overall, a really Ambassador good Shankar, thing. Ambassador Shankar, is this also calculated? This American move, or the uh, you know, to wean India away from dependence on Russian military hardware? Um, I think that is part of the objective because there has been concern uh, over uh, the differences with regard to Ukraine. And um, an understanding also uh, of the strategic imperatives uh, which underlie India's uh, policy on Ukraine, because 60% of our existing defense equipment is still of Russian origin. So in the debates in Congress which have taken place on this issue, where members of Congress and others have expressed concern, um, there have also been remarks that the U.S. needs to do more with India, provide it more access to defense equipment and technology, so as to reduce India's dependence on Russia. Now, from our point of view, that is not the objective, but our point of view is to upgrade our own technical capacities and this will certainly help because one of the issues with the light combat aircraft has been that the engine is not seen as powerful enough. Yes. And this would be a far more powerful, a far more fuel efficient engine, which will therefore lead to uh, cost efficiency as well in its operations. I would also mention one other thing, which is will be of significance they are also talking of cooperating in quantum computing though yes. no specifics have emerged but under the initiative on critical and emerging technologies there is likely to be announcement of a major uh, investment by the u.s company micron for producing semiconductors in india now, if you look at it, that has also been one of the major objectives. Yes. 
because semiconductors underlie all technologies and we don't have our own production capacity. 